Hey there, friend. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ben, a big thinker and deep feeler who is simply on a journey to discover my truest potential and just get to know myself and to surround myself with and interact with and engage with things that light me up. Really, at the end of the day, I just want to feel truly alive. So with that, if you are somebody who loves to learn, who loves experiencing everything that life has to offer and is on a constant journey of self-growth and healing, getting more in touch with yourself and nature and the world around us, then I think you'll probably enjoy it here. <laughs> I am here sharing with you because we, as big thinkers and deep feelers, are simply walking the path less traveled and therefore it can get lonely and it can be really difficult to do on our own. So that's why I'm here. That's why I'm sharing the way that I am. I love being connected to you. I love not only sharing, but also getting feedback on what I'm sharing because as I said, we're all in this together. I don't have all the answers. I'm simply here to share and hopefully that we can both learn from that. So if this sounds good to you, if this feels good in your heart and your soul, and you resonate with what I'm here to do, and it sounds kind of like you, then I would invite you to join the fam. You can hit subscribe, and I would love to have you. Close my exercise ring. <laughs> All right, well, we've got a few more packages here that I need to put together. Well, one I need to put together. And then these other two, uh, I'm gonna unbox one of those. You'll see what that is. Uh, but the other one is like cord, uh, for cord management. So I'm not going to pull that out until I get my desk on Tuesday. And I put that together because then the whole setup over there is going to end up looking different. Not too, too much. The, the general stuff will be the same, but um, I will be organizing things a little bit differently. So no need to really, I'm not going to organize my, my cords until I've got the, the new setup in place. But the idea here, we've got, we've got this little shelf You'll notice I have some white space on the wall there. I want to, it's basically like a ladder shelf. So the idea is to put that there. And then I've had this shitty little, no, can I not zoom this way? Uh, I can't zoom this way. Then I'll flip it around just to zoom. Look at this piece of crap. I've had that, like, did I have that in college even? I don't even know, but I mean, dude, it's gotta go. I'm 33 years old. I don't need some crappy Sterilite container to be holding my like junk drawers for desk stuff. So the idea is to get that out of there here, um, get the shelf up once I have the new desk set up, then the room will really start to um, take its feel. Obviously, I really like what I got going on back there. I do need a new plant up there because that thing has been dead for a while. Um, but we're getting there, we're getting there. The vibe is, is coming together.
it actually fits really, really well there um, because it doesn't really get in the way of desk and chair, but provides a really nice amount of storage space that I haven't had to this point. So really happy about that. And yeah, next step, we'll just be getting it actually kind of set up. These are the other things that I got. Beep. Oh, it didn't work. What do I, what do I have to do? Ooh. Very nice. Oh, whoa, that's weird. It didn't change color in the video, but it's definitely different in real life. Whoa. Fancy. Anyways, though, I really just wanted it for <laughs> that. Because that way at night, I can have it a little bit lit up. I was going to s drop a bunch of money on the uh, beautiful Philips Smart Hue lights, the Hue Smart lights or whatever, but I'm like, I'm going to start cheap and see if these <laughs> uh, take care of it. Oh. Yeah. Good tempo. Keep that up. One more there. There we go. Good. are on a Monday afternoon already. Um, I did not say hey this morning to start the day, just kind of wanted to get into my week. Um, I'm currently, excuse me, just had a, a little smoothie snack a little bit ago. Um, I am currently wrapping up my work day. It is a little after 4.30 here, so I'll work till 5 or 5.30. I'm um, just kind of wrapping some things up. It's been a good day. For those of you that watched my vlog um, the previous week, last week's vlog, you know that on Friday evening, I was a little bit concerned where things were left off. Essentially, it had been a busy day. I didn't get everything done that I would wanted to because there was lots of meetings and stuff like that. And... Friday night, I was feeling kind of unsettled because I didn't really get to tie up those lo loose ends. There, this this thing was just left hanging, and uh, I wanted to try to get something done on it, but it just, I just I couldn't really, and so I was struggling with like energetically letting that go and not having like that sit and kind of marinate uh, and dwell on it over the weekend. So I did do a good job of letting it go after that. And it's a good thing I did because <laughs> not only would have been a complete waste of my time if I wasn't willing to take any actions on it over the weekend or whatever, but because it did not end up being a big deal at all. Of course, right? Usually these things aren't or don't end up being. Uh, so yeah, actually the day started off really well. I did get on a call with my boss pretty early in the day and he was in a great mood, which was really nice. Uh, yeah, we just kind of walked through some stuff. Um, he understandably so often has a lot going on. So he just kind of like, you know, has to get from thing to thing. Uh, but it seemed like he had a little bit more time this morning. So, uh, we were really able to just kind of like get into the stuff at a nice pace. It wasn't like Monday morning and felt like uh, really needed to hit the ground running or anything like that. So that was really good because I was carrying a little bit of that while I let go of it over the weekend. I did carry a little bit of that anxious energy into this morning knowing that that was kind of sitting there and I was gonna have to get that figured out. So yeah, the good news is that is, uh, 
out of the way. We got took that took the, took that care of. Uh, took care of that, and uh, yeah, ended up being a pretty good day. I made some progress on some other stuff. Uh, just kind of like a nice pace, you know? It wasn't one of those days where it was hectic and running all over the place. I will say I didn't really get to take a, a normal lunch today. Normally I would like to eat and then go outside, hang out with the dogs. You guys know if you, if you hang out on a regular basis, um, because I had a, a meeting, I kind of like meetings bookending my time, so I really only got um, like half an hour. So just enough to like make lunch, eat that, and sit sit tight for a few minutes. <laughs> um, I had to read up on a couple things before the meeting too, so it really wasn't even like a full tuned out half hour. But yeah, other than that, good afternoon. Uh, tomorrow... Looks like a pretty open day, uh, unless there's ad hoc meetings. It'll be an open day where I can just knock out some of my stuff. My stuff isn't really difficult. I'm just learning on the fly and it's very detail oriented. So just takes concentration and usually like a couple read throughs um, because yeah, everything's gotta be spot on for any of you that are even remotely familiar with coding it's you, you can't have anything off <laughs> like things just got to be spot on so so yeah feeling good to start the week i might have some other stuff going on here tonight because uh, i feel like my energy is really good today so i might try to take advantage of that and do some things tonight it's 4 30 like i said or a little after but like i don't know i i still feel energized i don't feel like i really need to completely log off. I do have some outside of work things that I want to get done. So tonight could be a good good time for that because um, the rest of my week in the evenings, I have at least one thing scheduled each night besides Friday, which we like to schedule Friday evening as chill time. So, so yeah, so hang on out here, see if I got anything else coming your way. Um, but before I sign off here, I just want to know, oh my goodness, look at that. How cute. Yeah, I put this little guy together last night, and how freaking cute is that? Jessie is jealous. Uh, yeah, she walked by the room before, and she was like, oh my god, that's cute. I was like, yeah, I know. Uh, so yeah, I'm like really happy with it. I Obviously, there's an empty shelf there. Um, I'm definitely not settled on like that's what it's going to stay as. I'll probably rearrange it a little bit, uh, throw like an organizer in there and then maybe like one on that shelf or the lower shelf and then swap some things. But basically it's, I want it to be showy enough, but also I do want it to be functional so that I can get rid of that piece of crap stair like container. <laughs> but yeah, really, really happy with that. <clears throat> and then I'm excited because my new desk is coming tomorrow. And I'm just like really, really excited to, oh, my screens went out there. Um, really excited to get that set up. Ah, like freaking, mm, yeah, really, really excited. Uh, not only to like have it set up, but I like the process of it. Like even like building that thing last night. I enjoy that. I enjoy the process of setting up. Again, if you guys have followed and watched, uh, what was it, two logs ago, two weeks ago, where I did some of this setup stuff, it's just fun for me to organize and try to optimize. So yeah, definitely looking forward to that as well. So that'll be coming in tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, I'm good for now. I might stop in, like I said, to say hey a little bit later, but bye-bye for now. Always.
checking it out, but Is it okay? <laughs> Things a little nerves with a large package. That delivery came much earlier than expected. I figured it would come this afternoon or something like that today. Um, so the fact that that is here, you guys can see the clock here. <laughs> um, it's not even eight yet. I am still kind of in the middle of waking up and getting my morning going. But with that, since that's here, I think I'm just gonna shift my morning routine to that and getting my office set up because I think I can do that by like 9, 9.30 today, so. Okay, well, we're about to put together the desk. Um, I will say, after pulling it out, my stomach dropped a little bit because the desk here is 55 inches compared to 48 inches that this desk is. So, seven inch difference. I felt like that was significant and that was gonna give me like a lot more real estate when I pulled it out and like putting them next to each other, I'm like, oh my God, that's like not that much bigger. Um, so a little disappointed. I'm hoping <laughs> once I get it put together, it feels better. Like I said, it's not gonna have this kind of shelf on the top here. So that'll give it a little bit more space. But just being honest about like when I first pulled it out, my, my stomach just kind of was like, oh, that's not that big. <laughs> um, but let's see. there so I'm running a little errand uh, I'm gonna grab Jesse a little present here now there's a couple reasons for this <laughs> one it's something that she's been wanting for a long time and I really really want to gift it to her I'm like trying to find lighting here it's really dark all right you can put on the light in the car um, something that she's <clears throat> really, really been wanting, and I really want to give that to her. She gave me so much in terms of 
uh, like giving me space to work for myself and work on my business while she worked at a job, one that she uh, did not like, to to put it lightly. Um, and even just in terms of like um, the dealing with instability and ebbs and flows in finances and just, you know, I just kept pushing basically to be like, hey, give me a little longer to figure it out. Hey, give me a little bit longer. Hey, I like appreciate the the space here as I do this. And it just wasn't comfortable for her for any step of the way. And so with that, I'm very grateful for all of that that she did for me and the space that she gave me to really go after my dreams and do the things that I just felt so called in my heart and my soul to do. And I was able to do them. And I have so many more things that I want to do, but I don't need, that doesn't need to be my exclusive thing anymore. That's why I went and got a job is because not only was there a financial need for that, but because I was finally ready to let go of a lot of what I've wanted to create because I realized that I didn't need to do it all right now. And the what I create for myself and for others and for my family in the future is just going to look very different than what I had envisioned a couple of years ago over the past few years. So with all that, now is the time that I can give to her. You know, she's been working for herself now for a year and a half, but even that, there just hasn't been a ton of freedom for her uh, to make really empowered choices within that and within her creative pursuits because there's been kind of this underlying stressor of money. So with me getting a job and easing a lot of that up, um, not only does that inherently free her up some space, but I wanted to do some nice things for her. And I'm really not great at getting little gifts. I really suck at it because I was in such a scarcity mindset for such a long time. So I really want to get back to that. And mainly because not only do I want to show her that I care and, uh, yeah, like show my love that way, but because gifts are her love language. So it's the best thing that I can do for her. And I just haven't been doing that over the past handful of years. And I've seen how much it's hurt her. And so with that, I'm hoping that this one really makes a splash and uh, makes up for a lot of that and just kind of shows that I am really committed to making her happy and giving her what she wants and learning to get back on the, the gift giving train uh, that I just haven't been on mainly because the scarcity mindset was so intense. So with uh, that uh, background and the context, here we are at Target and I'm gonna go grab the goods. Okay, well, that was a little bit of a fail because they didn't have what I was looking for. <laughs> um, I didn't check beforehand. Yes, I know it's the year 2022, but I was doing it old school and I was like, I'll just run to the store and see if they got it. And they don't. So I've got one other thing I'm gonna try. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to resort to um, another delayed option. Well, it did end up being a full fail what I learned tonight is that you can't just go and grab this from the store, apparently. I don't know if this is a COVID thing. I don't know if this is a normal thing, but they don't carry stock on a regular basis. You gotta order it online for pickup, delivery, whatever, but you gotta order it. So back to, uh, back to the drawing board. We got a couple little things to give her tonight. Uh, just to like show of appreciation and I'll give some like, I'll, I'll drop some subtle hints that there may be more on the way. We're back, back in the office, back with the desk, still on the ground, not put together. I knew as soon as I set out to do this this morning that 
I was rushing it. I wasn't gonna have enough time this morning. Uh, ironically, I've been doing stuff all evening as well as you guys have seen. Uh, so, yeah, this this is where we're at. Uh, and this is with something getting canceled tonight. We were supposed to have Finn's first dog training session and the instructor came down with laryngitis. So we did not have that and I still didn't get it done. Um, but here we go, let's finish this thing. assembled looking good it's actually kind of cool about this is see that little back support there can be installed on either side so this guy can either go on the left or the right so I'm gonna start with it on the left and see how it goes but now time to actually make the swap setup is complete. Yeah, so <laughs> you'll notice what I was doing here was I was checking to see what my zoom background is going to be. So if I'm sitting here, I want to see what was going to be in the background. And I don't hate that. And I will continue to play with that. Um, let's see, this stuff's not hooked up. There we go. There's the mouse. Oh, except I've got it backwards currently. So we're going to end the zoom meeting. But yeah, so this is what we're working with currently. So set up there. The idea here is I wanna grab some like, some type of like little organizers for there. I think that'll make that look really nice if those are end up being kind of like pseudo drawers. So you'll see over here, I have the subwoofer, which actually isn't gonna be hooked up to any speakers since they're currently broken, but I'm looking into other ones I can get that may actually work with the sub. If they don't, I will trash that and uh, either not have a sub or get a new one. Uh, I've got the scanner there. So that fits in kind of nicely, just tucks in. I got this desk pad which will unroll a little bit over time. And then, yeah, you'll notice I was kind of lining up where I'll be typing with the chair as well as the screen. And yeah, cable management's not too bad. It doesn't look too messy. I'll probably continue to play with ways to make it look even better. Um, you'll notice I keep this on my desk 
this like goofy little Dr. Seuss thing. If you haven't read this book, I would highly check it out. So again, maybe I'll look into like framing that or doing something just like a little bit nicer with that, but I really love the, just the feeling that that gives me. Um, the quick story there is that I got that book for high school graduation and it was for my mom's best friend. Love you, Lisa. Um, and I've read that throughout my life at pivotal emotional points on my journey and it just really hits home. I love Dr. Seuss, think he's brilliant. Uh, and that book in particular really speaks to me in the way that I see life and living it as an adventure rather than a blueprint. So love that book. Would, again, would highly suggest you check it out if you have not. So yeah, final thoughts there. I do have a big bunch of white space now that was kind of taken care of by this little shelf that was there. So brainstorm about that. Obviously still got the whiteboard there. Got some space for that. I want to get rid of that. Getting rid of that. <laughs> um, I'll probably do some little things in the corner here of the window because that will be on my Zoom screen if you run them better. So yeah, it's gonna be my little my little corner there now and I'm feeling pretty good about how it's coming along. Uh, just because I did mention it earlier, the, I actually think the desk is okay in terms of length. You'll see that here at the end, there's kind of a bit of unused space anyways. What I really want is to be able to like write freely in a notebook. So I think what I can do is just move that out when I'm, when I want to have like a little bit of a workspace here. I think my pad will fit there nicely. Uh, so yeah, I feel really good about it. So now you'll just get a chance to hear from me uh, after I've used it and uh, get into action. All right, first morning walking into the new office. I wanted to see it in the light of day, which it's still kind of not really-ish today because it's gray out. Um, but yeah, go turn this baby on, get set up, start feeling it out. This is obviously a problem. <laughs> um, so the work isn't done, but I won't put you guys through all of that. Uh, but yeah, it's Wednesday. Let's get to it. Hey there, friend. So just finished up a bit of lunch. Uh, yeah, kind of nearing the end of my time that I want to be away from my computer. So I'm seated at my desk here, just continuing to look at things. Oh, by the way, my, my dream car. I always forget that I can't zoom this way. It pisses me off. My dream car, near and dear to me, <laughs> so that I always feel it. Uh, my dream dog. Oh, the real dog, right, Finn? He's like, Dad. Let's play. Uh, but yeah, been a good day so far. Pretty quick morning, actually. I just, I don't know, time was just like that. Which I like, I like days that go by because I'm doing stuff. I'm actually engaged in something. Uh, like I hate sitting around, it's the worst. So <laughs> yeah, it's been a good day so far. I actually was kind of sluggish before, I was doing a little bit of movement to just try, try to like get myself going. I do sometimes struggle with brain fog. Uh, just seems to be related to uh, like chronic health stuff. That was really annoying earlier. I'm feeling pretty good currently, so I'm hoping that's something that's gone away uh, because it's just like really frustrating and difficult to be as efficient and productive as I want to be when that's the case. But yeah, oh, so another thing I was gonna show you is found um, that if I push my keyboard back, actually have a decent amount of space to write here. So I can either take notes while I'm on a Zoom call or just in general. Can also, like when I'm operational here, kind of have it the other way. This is like way harder to do with one hand than it should be. Um, but basically I'll do this. So when I'm not on a Zoom call and trying to take notes, I can just use my keyboard here and reach over that to write, which is part of the reason I wanted a bigger space. So I have that. Um, so yeah, that is going well for me.
But yeah, I am going to get back to work. I do actually have a few kind of like admin personal stuff I have to take care of. One being the the, the hunt that I was on yesterday. I need to uh, to take care of that. So you know about that. Um, and then pa, 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 what else? Oh, I have to call because even though I switched insurance to the you know what I have through my job now, we just got charged again after I'd canceled it and with like a higher amount. So don't know what's going on there. And then the other thing is that uh, I got an email saying that my FanDuel account was accessed, which it was not. So I have to check up on that. So password stuff, uh, things not being canceled. Jesse's returning a phone right now because she got charged sooner than she was told she was going to get charged. So just like these, you know, annoying type of, uh, you know, home, family, personal, admin things that got to get to today. But I'm going to try to crank out some work so that I feel good about carving out like, I don't know, half hour or something like that, hopefully less to get those things done. So yeah, I'm going to jump to it. And again. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Thursday. You know, just yesterday I was like, it's only Wednesday. And now today I'm like, it's already Thursday. So who knows what my brain is doing, but we're here on the back half of the week. I am making my breakfast. We got some nice little simmer going from my oats. Jessie's already headed out to the store because she's got Thursdays are just admin, uh, not, uh, admin, I don't know, personal admin d days for her and that she just has a lot going on. She has an extra appointment today. So uh, yeah, so she's kind of back to back with that stuff for me. I am, I already logged into work, checked something that I put in kind of at the end of the day yesterday that I want to get knocked out first thing today. So things moved the way they needed to on that, but now I need to do my next piece of it. Should be able to get that out ASAP. Uh, and then I mentioned yesterday that I have like a few of my own admin phone calls to make. Uh, didn't do them because I was kind of busy, but also because I'm realizing that I feel guilty doing personal stuff while like on the clock. And I think this is actually part of being a remote worker because the boundaries are, a li there's a little less in terms of boundaries because you don't have that physical environment. Uh, you can't, you know, to, to, to the person in the cubicle next to you, you can't be like, hey, I gotta like, call my insurance company, hold on. You know, it's more like you're just expected to be online and that means that you're like in office. And so if you don't respond right away, uh, is that a bad thing? So I also want to acknowledge that none of this, I don't feel any of this because of my boss. Uh, it's more just like me getting used to this and trying to figure it out. <laughs> um, so, I, I have a feeling it's just a process, something that I'll get used to over time, but in the moment is something that, like for one, I do kind of get tunnel vision with work stuff. I do want to be productive. I do want to get this stuff done. But on the flip side, I also just feel a little bit weird about like taking some time to, to do those things. So anyways, Got that scheduled for today because there's things that I like actually need to get done. So uh, like urgent-ish phone calls. So this morning I'm going to finish this up. Uh, I'm going to run upstairs while I eat that. I'm going to hopefully knock out this thing that I want to get done first thing. And then I will make those calls and then I will get back to the rest of my day. So let's see how it actually goes.
Good morning, happy Friday. End of the week here. Oh, I'm just gonna show Finn. Finn, where'd you go? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Finn's a little weirded out because his sister is at the vet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Cora is just diarrhea for days now. It's awful and disgusting, not fun. Uh, yeah, she just has like really bad issues with this. She has since she was a baby. We really struggled with her for like the first six months of her life where she was just sick like all the time. And it was really hard because she liked to get sick in the middle of the night. Uh, yeah, the weird story. Uh, so like where we lived in Chicago at the time, we were, <laughs> Jesse actually, so she moved from uh, Green Bay, near Green Bay to Pierre, Wisconsin to come to Chicago uh, to be close to me. She got a job there and she moved down the street from me. It was just kind of like what looked like the perfect setup, really nice for her, for how she was commuting and stuff like that. And literally down the street. So like super easy when we were first dating where we were close, but we weren't living together. And so it was fun. Um, so we basically stayed at Jesse's with Cora. That was like where Cora grew up, essentially. And so like I said, I used to take her out during the night because she would get sick. And there was a point where somebody was actually shot and killed outside of Jesse's apartment. Uh, and it was not a night that I was outside, but it was scary because it was like literally, you know, Cora was going out between like two and three every night it seemed like, or one and three, and it happened at 2.30. So really weird, really uncomfortable for a while there. And just, you know, just in general, not even like out of part, you know, partially of course out of fear, but also just like weirdness, like that's just fucking bizarre and crazy. Um, but anyways, back to current day. Yeah, she's she had really hasn't had issues in a while, which we've been very grateful for. Uh, but yeah, really struggling this week. Finn kind of had something a week ago, but he got over it pretty quickly like a normal dog, but Cora just is not normal in this regard. So Jesse is there at the vet. Um, with our previous vets, Cora, there's some sort of antibiotic or something that she goes on that like really, really helps her. And so we do that. We don't love to over medicate, um, but this just makes a world of difference for her. So, uh, yeah, but we haven't done it with this vet yet. So had to go in for the checkup, bringing it back to my morning here. Finnegan's just chilling. He's actually being pretty good. Sometimes he gets kind of like separation anxiety when Cora's not here. Uh, cause it's not often, but yeah, I am getting started with my day here. <sighs> And yeah, I just wanted to, to be honest about something I didn't, since I didn't really check in yesterday. Uh, by the way, the game last night was really fun for a while until they got their asses handed to them in the second half. Uh, the first half, they're winning 10-9. They lost 15-11. 10 goals in the first half, one goal in the second. 
like wh what? And even if you don't know lacrosse, like just, you know, <laughs> uh, that shouldn't happen. So, so yeah, it was fun. It was enjoyable. It was cold, but you know, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, really glad I got to go. I got home late, but I actually don't feel too bad this morning. We'll see this afternoon, but it is Friday, so that part's good. Um, but yeah, the, the one thing I didn't share yesterday because I wasn't really checking in was I just had one of those days where I just felt stressed. I just felt like, uh, about work stuff, um, just felt like I wasn't doing enough. I wasn't doing it quickly enough. I wasn't doing it well enough. Uh, so two things. One, that's ironic because my, my boss actually made a point to be like, Hey, you're doing really well with this stuff. Like, thanks for taking it on and running with it. Really appreciate it. And that felt really, really good to receive. Uh, he doesn't know this, but my, my love languages are touch, and words of affirmation. They're like very, very close for me as like my number one. So yeah, words of affirmation are huge for me. So as soon as he said that, I was just like, that felt like really, really good to me. Made me feel appreciated and acknowledged. Um, and just like, okay, like I am on the right track. I'm doing the right thing. And I even voiced it too. I was like, yeah, I feel like some of this stuff shouldn't be taking me this long, but I know that over time I'll like get better at it. And he was essentially like, yeah, well, you're new to the team, the organization, what you're doing here. Like, <laughs> um, so I really, really appreciated that because one, it's not reinforcing my fears or my insecurities, the things that I am kind of stressed about or whatever. Uh, and then two, it's also healing this part of me that and this can be for anybody too, but like, especially as a big thinker and deep feeler, when you're in a work environment and it doesn't feel aligned to you, because for a lot of us, the corporate lifestyle just doesn't and everything that kind of comes under that umbrella. Um, and by the way, I haven't made a video on this yet, but I will. So <clears throat> if this is later on at some point, I'll link it below, but I haven't yet. Um, but I am going to make a video on work trauma because it's a very, very real thing, especially for big thinkers and deep feelers. It doesn't even have to be something crazy uh, like sexual harassment or intense, you know, emotional abuse or anything like that. It can be very small things that add up over time. But as big thinkers and deep feelers, we are more affected by that than most people would be. Uh, so yeah, work trauma is a real thing. This was a very healing experience in a sense that uh, these stories that I have about a corporate workplace feeling shitty um, and not being appreciated and all that stuff goes away. So yeah, just really, really appreciate that. That was uh, a highlight of my day, but otherwise I just felt like shit. I was like stressed all day and I just, I didn't feel like I could do what I wanna do. It was like, Pr relatively unproductive um even though i had like all day to do things like i got my admin stuff done which was great but i just felt like i couldn't get any real momentum going on the stuff that um my, my stuff here at work so frustrated about that but i'm feeling good this morning I'm, I, I carried a little bit of that tension into this morning uh so it's not gone but i do just feel better about where i'm at you know, a fresh start, start a new day, it makes a difference. So yeah, just trying to be really intentional about leaning into, hey, like my boss literally told me yesterday that you're doing a good job, keep it up. Uh, don't get carried away with my, any of my own stories. And yeah, I think the other thing I'm gonna do is just like, if I do feel that coming up, I'm just gonna kind of get up and then shake it out, take a couple breaths, one of the huge, huge, huge benefits of working at home is that you can kind of process these things and obviously not in the middle of a meeting or something like that, but um, when you're not and you're just kind of getting your work done, you have the ability to do that. So I'm gonna try to take advantage of that. Um, yeah, I know this is a little bit of uh, a long chat here in the middle of a vlog, but 
yeah, I just wanted to kind of check in and share where I'm at at the end of the week. I don't really have a bunch going on tonight. Um, probably just like hanging out, looking forward to chilling and taking advantage of an actual Friday. Uh, and then, yeah, talking to some friends tomorrow. I do actually have some creative, big thinker de feeler type things going on uh, in, in here and starting out into the world. Oh, by the way, <laughs> if you didn't notice, if you listen to the podcast, uh, one thing I did do the other night, and I didn't film any of this, I don't think, was I changed the name of the podcast. So it was Why the World Needs You, and it is now Big Thinker, Deep Feeler. So that was really exciting for me. I was proud of myself for just throwing together a thumbnail and not needing it to be perfect, although it did feel really good to me. Very simple, but um, very much what I wanted it to be. So uh, yeah, I feel good about that. It's just kind of like, I'm not pushing on anything when it comes to creative stuff, personal branding, those things. I'm just kind of like going with the flow and as things feel good, as I have creative inspiration, as I have space, which is really the idea and the intention all along with having a job and um, still having these creative endeavors, passions, pursuits, um, so yeah, it's, uh, kind of another domino down there and then, yeah, just some other creative inspiration going on that I'll probably put a little bit of juice into that this weekend. Uh, but yeah, with that, before we hit 10 minutes here, <laughs> um, thanks for hanging out. I will see you throughout the day. Mm -hmm.